out here at Alki Beach, and this is the Alki right here. This is the Puget Sound, and uh, you know, uh, we're at U now, so U stands for Ugly Mess, which the Mandalay Bay shooting was. So, after the Fear Factor, there's no reason this needed to happen. No motive has been figured out by the Las Vegas police or the feds, supposedly. But the way I see it, it's just a big cover-up for the truth. Everyone always asks me what I think happened. Here's my opinion, one of them. After months of investigations, one, the Saudis are involved. Two, the FBI knows and so does the CIA. There's an arms deal that went bad. Stephen Paddock was caught in the middle. The others fled upstairs to the Saudi-owned Four Seasons part of the Mandalay Bay after the shooting. T. Truth needs to be told. So many field tests that I have done don't add up. 1. No bullets found. 2. No broken glass from rooms pictured below or clean up. 3. Hallway door and fire door with bracket and police report switched. The fire door was metal. The hallway door was made out of wood with fancy trim pattern on it. And 4. One of the biggest giveaways of the cover-up is Jose Campos, the security guard from Mandalay Bay, who went on the Ellen show and basically lied. And uh, I caught a lot of his lies in the Las Vegas police report. And then when he went on the show, uh, caught more lies. So basically, uh, one of his biggest lies is the fire door being blocked by a small L bracket with only three screws securing it. And that is the L bracket. It was this big. Three screws, one into the side. This could not have kept him from opening that door. The police had to breach the door because of this little bracket, which I find just outrageously wrong. The next thing is, why did he leave a door he couldn't open that was in a fire escape and walk away from it without staying there in case there was a fire to warn off people. That doesn't make sense to me either. And also, there's a phone right in that foyer. So, with my videos I've taken in one of my uh, shots there, uh, in the fire, the fire hall area, there is a phone in there for emergencies. Why did he have to walk around? Why did he go up into another area to use a phone? And where was his walkie-talkie? That's another thing. All workers at Mandalay Bay, whether you're a janitor to a landscaper to a ballet, you all have walkie-talkies. You all have walkie-talkies that communicate with each other. There is no reason for Jesus Campos to have to walk around trying to find a phone to record that ill bracket, which doesn't make sense. So, anyway, that is my two letters today filmed here in Seattle, and this is at my second viewpoint in the movie, that um, it's just a different break from Las Vegas scenery, and this is Seattle, and that's where I'm from. Thank you.